Tuesday was a big day for the Trump administration. Paul Manafort was found guilty of bank and tax fraud. Michael Cohen pled guilty to violating campaign finance laws by paying hush money to women. And Apprentice Season 5 contestant Summer Zervos told a New York judge that Trump is refusing to produce documents or information concerning his sexual conduct towards women. Just another day in this Jackson Pollock painting that is politics in 2018. Zervos sued Trump in January 2017, just days before Trump took his oath of office. She alleges that Trump defamed her during the 2016 presidential campaign by denying her accusations of a decade-old sexual assault with a tweet about how it was 100% fabricated and made up. On Tuesday, Zervos's attorneys asked a New York state judge to order Trump to comply with discovery requests. Of course, Zervos is not the first woman to come forward with allegations of misconduct against the president, and now the former Apprentice star is drawing on Trump's treatment of other women to bolster her case. That includes about a dozen other accusers who told the New York Times in 2016 that they too experienced inappropriate sexual behavior from Trump, as well as Stormy Daniels and Karen McDougal, who agreed to confidentiality around their own affairs with Trump. Trump attempted to head off the legal battle by pointing to the supremacy clause of the US Constitution and arguing he was immunized from being sued in state court while in office. At a hearing, Zervos' attorney pointed to Clinton versus Jones, where the Supreme Court ruled in 1996 that a sitting president can't escape private litigation and promised to accommodate him. In March, New York Supreme Court Judge Jennifer Schechter allowed the lawsuit to proceed and refused to stop discovery, stating that no one is above the law. Trump attorney Mark Kasowitz attempted to get a New York appeals court to intervene, but those efforts were rebuffed, leading to the first round of the discovery fight. Zervos' motion to compel comes just weeks before the U.S. Senate takes up Trump's Supreme Court nomination of Brett Kavanaugh. The former White House staff secretary has expressed support for providing sitting presidents with a temporary deferral of civil suits. As former Trump attorney Michael Cohen appeared in federal court and admitted to paying women hush money at Trump's direction, Zervos submitted her own bid for more information in state court. The court papers also point to Trump's infamous Access Hollywood tape where he boasted to Billy Bush about groping women. Zervos' court papers states, in part, surely it would be relevant and a legitimate focus of cross-examination under this case law if there were evidence supporting the conclusion that Trump knew that he routinely or frequently engaged in sexual groping or if he believes that because he is a star, he is entitled to grope women sexually, knowing full well that they did not consent. This line of inquiry hardly is a fishing expedition given that defendant has been recorded boasting that this is in fact his long-standing practice and that numerous women have publicly described experiencing such behavior. Trump's lawyer will be filing responsive papers next month. To read more on the story, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.